Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool setup here. Uh, this is Ryan's telephone equipment. He's got a, a 202 rotary desk telephone and he's also got a wooden bell box here and then this is the bottom plate to the telephone and we're going to move that to the side and give you a look at this bell box also and um, he's got some really nice equipment here I'm going to pull the top off so I can show you this now one thing we definitely want to get to here on the bell is these wires do not have any connectors on them so we're going to repair that part of it and then I'll give you a little look at the inside here now somebody has uh, you know been through this phone obviously and rewired everything and got some things uh, all squared away on the inside and then uh, also want to show you the 202 it's got a really nice setup here this is the initial checkout here's the 202 it's got an E1 handset so he's got some really nice equipment here and I know he had a company uh, repaint this telephone and I'm not sure the extent of any kind of a wiring situation that they did or if they even did any of the wiring but it was repainted and it's just a really beautiful telephone and so this is the inside of it and there's an issue with this telephone now that it's all been put back together again uh, as soon as we what I'm going to do is I'm going to hang up the handset and we're going to go ahead and plug in the line cord to the analyzer and it's seizing the line right away so even with the handset down on the hook switch properly what's happening here is it's already seized the analyzer and I'll give you some dial tone and if we try to dial any numbers it doesn't do anything and you notice how sluggish the rotary is the rotary is very sluggish that's going to also have to be gone through but it doesn't dial any numbers it just stays off hook and the dial tone when you're dialing give you some dial tone does not ever uh, release the dial tone so this is the initial checkout and it's going to be a rewiring issue we also need to fix the repair the connections on the bell and we don't know what we're really going to find in the wiring issue we're just going to have to go through the telephone and rewire everything and check it out and then what we need to do is uh, I'm going to have to go through this rotary the rotary is just way too sluggish so we're going to take a short break from the video and uh, I'll get right back into the video here and we're kind of going to go uh, take some things apart and start rewiring and, and, and start working on this telephone so we'll start the video here in a little bit thank you okay we're back now and so what we've done is we've straightened everything out in in this situation where it was kinda like a little hornet's nest uh, basically what we did was just I disconnected everything and just started all over again so we have all of our connections made and uh, everything is working properly now so what I want to do is I want to go ahead and plug the unit in I want to give you some dial tone and then what I'll do is reach over and hang the unit up and 
Now what we want to do is uh, we can dial the telephone. If you watch the analyzer here, You can see how slow the uh, recoil on the, uh, I ended in a 2, on the rotary. So now what I'm going to do is go into the rotary and repair that. But uh, first what I want to do is take care of the bell. So I'm going to move the telephone out of the way. And I want to bring the bell over. And remember I had uh, in earlier part of the video, we had the uh, wires here that I wanted to take care of. So let's go ahead and take them apart and get some uh, connectors on them. Someone's just bared the wire here. on.
line. Now we can do this one. get a little solder on that also. Sometimes you need flux. It doesn't hurt to use any flux on here. made everything down. a little hot there. Okay. All right. Now what we can do is put the leads back on.
go ahead and hang the telephone up. Now what we want to do is plug it in and give it a try. Another thing I noticed that we're going to have to replace is the little clip on this uh, line cord was just barely hanging on so we need to uh, put another modular end on. got a very cool bell sound to it. Give it some dial tone. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take the telephone apart, the dial, and get that straightened out. And then we can put everything back together again. And so what I'm going to do is uh, take a break from the video. dial of two. I'm going to transmit into the handset. If you watch this red light here, you'll see 100% modulation every time I transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know the telephone is working now. What we want to do is repair the dial. And uh, we're going to take a short break from the video. And we'll, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we have the dial apart, and if you've never seen the inside of one of these dials, uh, it's pretty cool. And I'll kind of work this dial a little bit for you. And the reason why it was so slow is because of the tension spring that's in there. You can see it was like at the end because it was barely turning. And this linkage here is what will hit your points for your, uh, your pulses. See that kick back and forth. I'll do that one more time. So what we're going to do now is we're going to tighten up the spring. You got your braking clutch here. And then you also have a little piece of linkage here that sets the points to where uh for your receiver so that uh, you don't hear a bunch of clicking in the uh handset. Now some people like that clicking, others don't, but that's what that linkage is for. So it's a pretty cool uh, situation, and that kind of gives you an idea about how it actually works. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to start reassembling the dial because we're going to tighten the spring up and we'll be right back. Okay, now we have our stopping plate in place now and so what I'll show you is 
what it looks like with our stopping plate. I've got our spring that's a much better return now so what we'll do is we'll start putting it back together now Get that into place. check the action on it now that's a little better There you go. Pretty cool. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make sure everything is tightened up in the way we want it and uh we're going to take a short break and we'll be doing all that. We also need to get our points and our wiring block back into position. Okay, we're back now and we are totally finished up with the rotary, putting it all back together again and getting everything straightened out. We also have a new modular plug on the line cord. The uh, little clip was so uh, you know, almost falling off that I wanted to get a new clip on there for uh, Ryan. And so now, and we have a piece of heat shrink here, and I like to do that so that the uh, cloth does not fray back any. And so now we have that all straightened out. We ha have our uh, base plate for our telephone setting here, and we're going to go ahead and put it on the telephone. But uh, why don't we go ahead and do that right now? This will give you a look at everything on the inside now, and that's all been straightened out and the dial's been gone through. So we'll go ahead and uh, install our base plate. Ryan's got a really cool phone here and bell box, so it's just a really nice setup. And uh, it's got the E1 handset, so he's all set to go now. And now he doesn't have to just look at this telephone, he can actually use it. And I think that's what his intentions were uh, after it got out of the last shop. But uh, now it's all straightened out. And I would have thought that dial would have been taken care of, but uh, and there's quite a bit of tension on this dial, but it will free up. with a little bit of use. 
but now we are returning nice and smooth and properly. So we got some action to that dial now and that's the way it should be. So now let's go ahead and plug the telephone in. We're going to do some checks with it. We want to go ahead and ring the telephone. It's got a really cool bell sound to it. I'll let that go two more times. has a really neat sound to it. I'm not sure the video does justice for it, but we'll answer it. Give you some dial tone. Now what we want to do is dial our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I'm going to go ahead and transmit into the handset and this is that E1 handset, so it's just a, a really cool handset. If you watch the red indicator light on the analyzer, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Every time that red light lights, that's 100% modulation on transmit. Hello, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know that the telephone has received and transmit and it's dialing out and it's ringing let's go ahead and put it over into the telephone line and we'll go ahead and call like say a time and temp number give you some dial tone number and it'll be busy. Okay, and we'll call one other number. Yeah, could I have electronics, please? Thank you. See if they answer. Might be on break. I'm not sure if they're on break or not. Might be sleeping. Hi, is this electronics? Oh, I'm just trying to bring it back. Okay. I'm going to turn it to you there, and I'm going to go back there and answer the phone, okay? I appreciate that. All right. Thank you. Hmm. Hello? 
this electronics? Yeah, just a moment. I'm sorry? Yeah, just a moment, sir. Oh, okay, sure. Not sure we're ever going to get to ask our question. Anybody know any good songs we can hum? I think this is going to go on for a while. Electronics, please. One moment, I'm going to transfer you. People call me over Walmart. Is this electronics? Yes, sir. I'll try to transfer you. I got the whole button mixed up. I was trying to get y'all hold. I'm sorry, what? This is electronics. Okay. Do you guys have any Western Electric? 202 desk phones with an E1 handset there. Oh, okay. Say it again. Uh, a Western Electric 202 desk phone with an E1 handset. Do you have any of them? A Western Electric. Western Electric Telephone uh, 202 with an E1 handset. You want me to just come up and search around? Oh, no, I'm trying to hopefully try to save you that, 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 uh, that hassle. So you, you probably don't have them, right? Um, we have regular house phones. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're talking about the kind, the kind you put on, on the office desk with all the numbers and everything all over? Right, just a regular home phone? Okay, but you don't, you, you're not familiar with the Western Electric 202 with an E1 handset, right? No. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate your time. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Hmm. I don't think they have them. So anyway, Ryan's got a really cool setup here, and now that uh, the telephone has been repaired and it's it's all finished up. He can enjoy this telephone now and using it like he had planned. And it's just a, a really beautiful telephone setup. And so uh, I don't know anybody that wouldn't want this, you know, with a wooden bell box and the 202 desk phone with the E1 handset. It's just a great telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.